Hey kids, Invertical here. Welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Let's jump back in the game. Okay, we're back in the game. Uh, what I've been working on towards um, collecting a bunch of resources, a bunch of materials and such. Uh, now that the new updates come out, um, Glowbug poop is needed. So what I've done here is I've collected three little glow bugs and I've given them a big pile of cardboard to chew into. So uh, let's see what happens if we open the bottom of this box and how fast it takes these guys to chew up some cardboard. Now I've got to do some gardening and some other um, messing around in, in the area. I've got two craft bots going on some of the building or some of the refining. Uh, I brought back a whole whack of resources to work with um, and so they're cranking away. But uh, yeah, glow bug poop is needed to make batteries and I would like to get some electric batteries for the drill uh, the drill car that I need for grinding up stone. So we're just going to pop the bottom of that cage out. Pop the sides off and let these little guys just go to town on an all-you-can-eat buffet of cardboard. Now it's 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to tell you how many stacks are in here of cardboard, but, well, let's just say every layer is a stack. And you can kind of get an idea how many layers that is. So, <clears throat> there you go, boys. Be free. I don't know how many cardboards they eat per per poop, but yeah, I've spent three or two full days swimming around trying to find glow bugs. I've only found the three. This area originally was just packed with little little guys, so I don't know. Uh, so I got any empty spots? I do. All right. That's that. Okay, that's that. I can get started. Um, give me those cotton. Don't know how many I need, but we'll take those. Got any more? Oops, that shouldn't be in this chest. how much cotton, more cotton I'm going to need, but I'm going to grab these because I do have a couple of um, boxes to open. Now this guy is making tier 3 wood if I remember correctly, or he should be working on tier 3 wood now. No, he's still doing tier 2. Okay. Um, so then I'm going to get this guy working on tier 3 wood. This is my lower level. Uh, he's new. I just got him when I was working over by the mechanic station just to start processing the base level wood into a higher level wood. Um, garment boxes. That's right, Cal. Garment boxes. She wants some fuel. Now basically, I am completely out of fuel. Here's my Oops, that's not this fuel. There's my, this is my fuel supply. Now these batteries are all ones that I have just salvaged up until the point where this date came out or this update came out the, the other day. Um, so that's all I have laying around. Uh, I think there might be a few left in the uh, in the warehouse tank that I still have to finish modifying. So I want this to. I want to see what this 
cranks out for me. But I want to let these little guys just give her on this box of cardboard here and see what they get done. So we'll grab this. I got three three garment boxes, so smiles and chuckles here can get started on them. Don't think I have any more in here. No, I don't. I think I need that much cotton. <clears throat> While I was swimming, I picked up all the fuel oil that I could find. So I will get one guy working on fuel oil. And this is all the glow poop I have right now. So 16 glow poop. Are you guys eating or are you just hanging out? Not sure. I think they're all just standing there. It's like they went on strike. The cows do that occasionally too. They just stop working. Probably got yourself hooked or something here. Oh, this guy's still going. There's a couple of buckets. Listen, you guys can't leave until you hit the hit the bottom, so get chewing. Alright, so what did you give me? Whoops, that's not what I wanted. I said this. Oh yay, yellow gloves. Now, I was hoping to find a lot more. I was actually hoping to have about 10 or 15 of the little guys up here, but um, I can't find any. <laughs> uh, when I first landed on this island, there was four that would spawn literally right here. Like it was literally right off the water, in the water's edge, right here, down in these little rocks. Um, I would always, like I'd go across my little bridge when my bridge was here and all you'd hear was the little guys chirping and then they were right underneath the bridge and now I, none of them are here. And I haven't harvested them, I haven't used them for anything, I haven't done anything with them, they just vanished. <clears throat> And then this little area here used to have a whole bunch in it as well. Now I know they said that if they're not fed over an extended period of time that the, they will despawn. The same goes with cows uh, or walks. Uh, but uh, yeah. Uh, didn't figure that would mean the ones that are growing around in the wild. Like, those should just regenerate. So, obviously, there's some kind of bug with that, I guess. But. Whatever. We're up to five things of glow poop. More gloves. More gloves. So far we've gotten gloves twice. Of the three that I have, yeah. What can I say? I'm not too impressed with the clothing bots, what it generates. Um, it doesn't really get me excited there. Alright, what do you got? A jacket with shirt oops, combination, huh? 
I don't want to hear it. it. Better be in my inventory there. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I say it's not too ugly. <laughs> Maybe we'll go with that for a while. Not liking the high collar, super high collar things, but hey, it's a change. Change is always good. Well, they're going straight down. Not doing much for side to side, but straight down, they're doing a good job on. So that's one, two, three, four, five layers. And they haven't hit the bottom yet. There was each stack was a, a layer, plus there was a, a handful of loose ones, but now I'm not going to bother counting those. I love the way the cardboard forms a, uh, a texture. Okay, uh, we're coming up on three o'clock. I want to start prepping for a garden garden run here. I'm going to basically I'm going to do some gardening. Um, yeah, to this episode is just basically I'm going to do a lot of uh, it's going to end up being a lot of messing around more than anything. Processing. Uh, I, I am trying to make a path over uh, where's the mechanic station? Over there i got to make a path over to where that ember forest is. That's what I've been working on. And basically every day after work, I come home and yeah, an, an hour or so of time is spent literally just foresting out um, for that path. Um, it's not exactly moving forward fast but I mean we are getting there slowly uh, we are making progress I guess part of the reason I'm hanging on to all this shack metal is because it floats and it makes great scaffolding when you're working on the water uh, because of the way it floats and because the first major project that I want to do is entirely uh, it, it's a boat it's entirely in the water um, I want something that I can manipulate while I'm working in the water building that um, right now I think we're up to three full chests of tier 3 wood and slowly climbing I'm going to show you how I do my garden um, so that I can have zero, what do you call it, uh, raid. <clears throat> and I need this pineapple, right? I got a full stack of pineapple in here. Yes, I do. Take the full one. So I want one full of pineapple. That should finish the thing for the spudling gun. I need spud ammo. So that's two, three, Four, five spud ammo. That should be all that I need. I did get that cotton. Um, I don't really have a lot of demand for cotton right now. One, two, three, four, five. I got one too many. Okay. Put that one back. And we'll grab a half stack of tomatoes. Now it's 18 uh, 30 which is 630. The water is on so now I'll turn the water system on and this will start irrigating. Now it's not exactly scientific irrigation system. It just ejects water upwards um, and drains these chests out fairly quickly. And then what I'll normally do is I'll just add to it 
with the bucket. So now I'll do this until, uh, basically I'll let this run right up until dark, right up until uh, zero hundred hours there. So I'll pick it up here at zero hundred when we get ready to do the next step. Okay, we're coming up on 2300 or 2330 right now. We're almost at uh, 0, 0,100 hours. <clears throat> Everything's been watered. I've shut the water off. I'm just letting it run its, its cycle. Uh, the glow bug guys have tunneled down to the bottom of the stack on the one side here. Um, and they're starting to chew their way through the side of the, the, the box. <laughs> the one on the other side, he doesn't seem so energetic, I don't know. Okay, it's now zero hundred. So now real quick here, we'll just go and plant tomatoes. And we'll give it three seconds, or, or 23 seconds. Okay, unauthorized farming has been detected. As you can see, the red timer is over top of the um, tomato patch. So now I'm just going to quickly, as quickly as I can here, plant the rest of this produce. Okay, everything is now planted. Um, I'm just going to go grab a batch of fertilizer. And just the pineapples. I'm going to give them a quick snort of fertilizer here. Okay, they're totally fertilized. So they'll be done in, in one day. All the potatoes will be done in less than one day and the tomatoes will be done in a few hours. So now what we'll do is we'll just hang out here and watch the glow bugs eat the cardboard for a bit. Okay the little bugs have been at it for over half a day now. Um, oh I left the water on. Oh dear. That's gonna suck. <clears throat> Forgot that I left the water on. I just walked away, went and had a coffee. <laughs> uh, yeah, they've been at it for half a day and they've barely made a dent in this stack of cardboard. Um, I kind of figured that these little guys would have this thing chewed all the way down to, to nubbins by now and yeah. Mm, no. So I think if you want to utilize the glow bugs for making uh, glow poop here, you're going to have to find a way to feed them. And not just let them go. You'll have to have one in a cage somewhere or a couple in a cage and just set up a, a dispenser on a timer and dispense food to them um, but we'll just let that go I'm going to get these craft bots going on this glow poop here uh, I bet you every hole is full of water now isn't it this is what I don't like I really wish you could set that so that it would turn off when it was full but yeah uh, it is what it is, I guess. We just kind of have to deal with it. Okay, I want batteries, if you please. A little bit of fuel. Oh, I had to make a replacement uh, um, seat. <laughs> the uh, a Haybot decided that he didn't like me driving around in his, his area, cutting down his trees, I guess. I don't know. Uh, and he came up and decided that he was going to smash the seat out. Uh, so I had to revert back to the uh, 
to the, the starter seat that I kept for emergencies. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I wasn't too happy about that. Put the starter seat in, we'll put this seat back down. That's a, <laughs> that's a thing you don't want to forget because it, it doesn't turn uh, very well at all if you do. So let's see here. Um, button is number one. Two and three. There we go. Now I'm only using this fuel for driving around while I'm cutting trees, and that's it. It's the only purpose I have for the fuel right now. Um, So we'll let that run. Oh, I'm going to remember here. One of these days I'll remember. I'm going to grab that uh, cotton seed out. And we'll put that in the storage room. Let it grind for a bit longer. Uh, watch these guys keep digging. And we should almost be at the point where the tomatoes are ready for harvesting. And it's now uh, 2300. And as you can see, the produce is all starting to ripen up quite quickly here so we'll start harvesting this. I had actually planned on doing this episode with just letting the glow bugs chew apart this box doing this really wicked little time lapse on it but these idiots have all stopped working. They just they, they chew a few boxes and then they quit so I'm obviously going to have to find a better way to deal with the need for glow poop for electric batteries. Um, glow poop's also used for explosives, and I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with the explosive, or what I'm uh, what I'm going to need explosives for, except for demolition in the factories. Um, and I'm kind of leaving them alone. I'm really hoping that they do update them because they have indicated that the warehouses are still very incomplete uh, hence the reason that the locks are still blocked off and such um, I would like to actually get into the one and tear it apart the rest of the way like the one that I already took apart that four uh, four story one um, apart from the salvage that I had on the roof and the stuff that I took from uh, outside uh, there I haven't taken any other salvage out of the building um, and heck I still got oh I could say probably another two another load or two anyway before I'm done so there's my garden harvested uh, planted harvested and collected um, Again, I'm going to have more bloody seeds than I know what to do with, but I really only want is some pineapple seeds because it's the only thing I'm low on. Okay, it's 23.55. It's about to be uh, raid time. And I have... One little tote pot. It's a major raid, guys. That's a major raid. That's that's a whole tote pot. Yeah. I know there are people that have these really elaborate defensive bases and smashers and jumpers and throwers and catapulters and guns and, and automated turret systems and all kinds of crap like that. But seriously, trick the system. The most you gotta deal with, a couple of tote bots. Nothing fancy. And it doesn't matter what I grow. It's a hundred crops of whatever you want, plus 
10 crops of tomatoes. Uh, tomatoes I use in cooking. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do here real quick next is I'm just going to drive over to the packing station and grab up, uh, pack up these um, what do you call these things? Not watermelons. Pineapples. <laughs> oh boy, it's been a long day. Pack up those pineapples and take that over to the to the trader. So I'll be right back as soon as we get over to the packing station. All right, let's set this up real quick and get rid of these pineapples. All right, we'll let that do its thing. And now for the fun drive back to the trader station. One of these warehouses, and I think it's that one, or these POIs, I think it's that one, has a loose cargo crate in it. Um, trying to find out which one it is. I've been looking for it ever since I saw Squiddy do the uh, do the video where he was rescuing them and I think it might be that one so I want to do is come back here later and I'm going to have a go at that one and see if that's the trick that I'm looking for. Um, I need to do an exploration video. Of course doing explorations in this thing is almost as much fun as watching glow bugs chew through cardboard. Uh, this is a great work vehicle but it doesn't move fast well it does move fast if I took the trailer off and took the counterweight on the front this thing would actually motor along very quickly um, so there is that as an option too I suppose <clears throat> of course it wouldn't do any good for picking stuff up but It would definitely be running. Um, all right, if you're going to walk behind me, I'm going to turn the guns back on. Either way, uh, that's something I have to do as well is a uh, serious exploration video because we've got a lot of this map. I haven't even gone up that road. There's another road off the warehouse there that I haven't gone anywhere near. Um, that sort of thing. So I really want to do a good exploration video. Uh, so I might do is modify this for making a, an actual exploration vehicle. And maybe we'll look at doing that next episode. I'm not sure. Um, that might be a bit of fun. A bit of a change of pace. The grind on this game, uh, for me anyway, the, the grind is getting a little bit tedious. Um, the reason I'm going for today, I'm going for the spudling gun, is I need to clear out the, uh, the big red farm bots that are protecting the only other patch of ember that I know of. Um, I've completely harvested the one that's over here behind this, basically right over there on that ridge. That was all ember forest, now it's nothing. It's completely picked clean. Um, there is no more ember that I have found. Now that's the other reason I need to consider doing an exploration day, uh, is I want to see maybe if I can find some more ember. and see if there's anything else of interest. So um, we're going to head up to the farmer here. Good old good old trader there, whatever his name was, Larry. And that's those. Hey Larry, you know what I want. Oh yeah, we now have all the guns. That's right, boys and girls, everything, including the infamous spudling gun. And 
Alright, I'll, I'll tell you goodbye. The Spudling Gun, which is capable of firing multiple rounds of ammunition very quickly. And has the ability, although it does have a little spin up time to it now, has the ability to drop uh, the big red farm bots very quickly. Has been something that I have wanted for a while. Um, as I said, they I have farm bots protecting the only other patch of ember that I currently know of. And I really want to do an exploration video, uh, a trip. Just, I want to go explore some of the map. There's only been so much that I've seen, so I want to take care of that. But I'm going to do that on the next episode. So between now and then, um, I've got a little bit of ember that i got to go collect now that I have the ability to shoot those little nasty little red guys. So I'm going to go get a load of ember, and then I'm going to... Um, grow a couple of more spuds. I think I've only got a thousand or so right now. Uh, this crate is full and this crate, yeah, this crate isn't full yet. So that's three, 400 right in here, five, 600. So yeah, I'm almost at a thousand spuds. Um, so I'll have to, I have another crate back at base emergency supplies, emergency backups. So that's not enough for me to go exploring yet. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to pack some uh, hamburgers together. So I've got a full load, uh, full inventory of on the road food. And next episode, we're going to go see what lies on roads as of yet unseen. So thanks for watching kids. Hope you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic and I'll see you on the next episode. Good night for now.